Hey guys, today's video is all about pan seared ahi tuna. Stay tuned and I will show you how to make this super easy recipe. I'm going to start off by adding in some freshly grated ginger into my wet marinade here. Visit eatnowcrylater.com for the recipe. I'm going to give this all a nice little stir and then I'm going to set this aside. Next, you want to take a couple of tablespoons of sesame oil and then take your ahi tuna. Coat them nicely in that yummy sesame oil and then I'm going to take some of that marinade that I had set aside, a couple of tablespoons as well, and then you want to toss the coat again. Next you want to take some black and white sesame seeds, well actually what I did was I took white sesame seeds and I dry roasted them on medium low in a pan. There you go, it got me quick easy fix and I didn't have to go out to the store and buy me different set of sesame seeds. So what you want to do is pour an equal amount, a couple of tablespoons of each, and just take your hands, swish them around, get them nicely distributed, and then you want to add in your tuna steaks. You don't want to marinate them too long. You don't want them too wet when it hits the pan. Now I like to add the sesame seeds onto all sides of the tuna steaks, but if you don't want to, you can just do it on two sides. When you're all done, just set these aside so you can work on your glaze. So I have here the reserved leftover marinade as you will. You want to bring it to a quick rolling boil in a small saucepan. I highly recommend that you double the ingredients just for two ahi tuna steaks because the sauce is really yummy and ties everything together. So once that comes to a quick rolling boil, you want to add in one teaspoon of cornstarch that has been mixed with a little bit of water. So let this continue to cook for 15 to 20 more seconds and let it get nice and thick. Now the sauce on its own might taste a little salty to you at first, but once you add it with the tuna and the salad, it's going to make everything just complete and tie in all the flavors together. Set this aside and let it cool down. Using a cast iron skillet on medium high heat, when your pan is really hot and smoking, you want to add in your tuna steaks. You want to cook each side, well the first side for a minute. I'm just taking a flat spatula here and using my hands, I'm just going to flip it over. Your hands are your best, best kitchen tools. And the other side, I'm going to let it go for literally probably like 45 seconds. Each side that I do, I actually end up decreasing the amount of cooking time. So here's a good close up of the tuna steaks. Perfectly seared, so yummy. You don't need to add any additional oil. The oil that you need is all in the tuna steaks itself already. So on the other side here, on the shorter side, I'm only going to go for about 20, 25 seconds. And then the other side, another 15, 20 seconds. So every side I decrease the cooking time because I don't want, I like it nice and pink in the middle. When my tuna is all finished, I'm going to take some foil, wrap them in the foil, and then put them in the freezer for about 20 minutes while I work on my salad dressing. Now for the dressing for the salad, I have here some extra virgin olive oil. I'm adding in the juice from one fat ass lemon. Squeeze that out and then you want to add some fresh black pepper, a couple of pinches of salt, apple cider vinegar, sesame oil, and some orange juice. Now if I had some hot Chinese style mustard, I would add that in as well, but I don't have that so that's okay. This dressing isn't anything spectacular, it's just a simple dressing, nothing too fancy. In a separate mixing bowl, I'm going to add in my green salad. This is the baby spring mix, I believe. I do it separately because I don't like any like a dressing overkill on this at all. So just a little bit on the top there and just toss it around. Now with the salad all done, I'm going to set this aside and take my tuna out of the freezer. If you're wondering why I set the tuna in the freezer, it's because for one, it stops the cooking process and also it makes it easier to slice. So that's a good tip that I got from my boss. Thanks, Steve. Miss you. So here it's nice and pink and rare in the middle. That's exactly how your tuna should look. And now finally we get to just plate everything together. I, also what I've done here is I've taken the reserved thick glaze and I placed it into a disposable piping bag. And I have also set aside some wasabi that I'm just going to try to make the plate look pretty. I have no idea what I'm doing, no clue whatsoever. So we'll see how this goes. And now for some awkward silence, I feel like I should be singing something. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Can you guess where that's from? <laughs> anyway, so um, I'm just, I guess, finishing off with some pine nuts. I love pine nuts in my salad, especially with my ahi tuna. I don't know why, I just love it. Um, I guess that's it. I hope you guys enjoy the video. I really enjoyed making it for you guys. Oh, forgot. I am going to take the rest of that glaze and just drizzle the top of it. In the end of it, I actually ended up adding a lot more when I was eating it. That's why I really recommend that you double the ingredients for the glaze. 
I hope you guys enjoyed watching the video. Thanks for watching.